16 and 1, all right? Because that word, that word Christian, right? It comes, that word Christian comes from uh, uh, a, uh, uh, how, how do you say, how do you say? Uh, like a, a, a byword, really that's how it started, right? They were calling us this because we were following after Christ. So we didn't, we became Christians before, you understand what I'm saying? Before we were taken into this slavery that you see on this photo right here. There was a church in Antioch. The church in Antioch was always the Israelites. That's what you see right here. The church in Antioch was always the people that we see today as the Puerto Ricans. The people we see as the Jamaicans, the right. Negroes, you understand? Uh, the Haitians, right? The uh, 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 Mexicans. All of these are the, the children of Israel. So there was a church of those men that, uh, and women and children that I just named, right, in Antioch. And this is what they were calling them. Come on. Certain prophets and teachers, as Barnabas and Simon, that was called nigger. So they called them nigger, right? What does that word come from? Man. That word comes from well, you say the white man, but here you have you have uh, 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 other not not just the white man, right? But you have other nations calling the the the, the, the children of Israel nigger, right? right. Uh, this man Simon was very 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 dark skinned Nigger just means black Niger. It means black, right? right? So he was so dark in complexion that they called him black, right? That was a. Uh, 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 what they called him as a as a as a, a nickname. They, maybe they didn't know his name, but they knew he was black. You understand? So they called him black. You understand? Just like today, brother, real light skin. They might call him red, right? They might call him uh 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 uh, uh, uh light bright, right? Something like that. You understand what I'm saying? You've heard that before. You know what I'm talking about, right? So this was a name that was put on the children of Israel before. You understand? They went into this slavery. Now the children of Israel had been into slavery before. They were enslaved to the Egyptians. That's when Moses came and delivered them out of Israel, right? And many, many, many other times after that, right? Come on. That was called nigger and Lucius of Cyrene and Menaean, which had not been brought up with Herod the Tetrarch and Saul. So similar to that, give me uh the where they were called Christians first. You know what I want, Officer Yohanan? Yeah, Acts 22. Acts, no, it's not Acts 22. What did what you say it was? Acts 22. 22? It's 22? 17, I believe. 22 and 17? Get that, see what it says. But I'm going to show you where they were called Christians. Acts 11. Acts 11. thank you. 11. All right, thank 26. you. Thank, Acts 11. All right. 22. We appreciate you, Officer Amir. Read what you got. <laughs> Read what you got. Come on. The book of Acts, chapter 11, verse 22. Come on. Then tidings of these things came unto the ears of the church, which is in Jerusalem. Read. And they sent forth Barnabas, that he should go as far as Antioch, who when he came and had seen the grace of God. So this is in the same place, right? The same place they was called what? Nigger, right? The same place they was called black, right? Come on. Was glad and exhorted them all that with purpose of heart they would cleave unto the Lord. For he was a good man Read. and full of the Holy Ghost and of faith. And much people was added unto the Lord. Then departed Barnabas to Tarsus, where to seek Saul. Get, get to the 26. point. Come on. All right. Verse 26. All right, well, listen good. Here it comes. Come on. And when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. And it came to pass. Brought him unto the same place, right? We just read about. Come on. That a whole year they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people. So they stayed there for a year and taught the people the same thing that we're teaching the people. Come on. And the disciples were called Christians. They were called what? Called Christians. Come on. First in Antioch. So the same place that those men was called what? Nigga. Nigga they was called what? Christians. Christians. You understand that? This was well before this happened. This was year what? 70? Yeah, yo, no, this was this was this was between year 30 and year uh uh 100. You understand what I'm saying? This is this is when time had reset. You understand what I'm saying? All right, so remember, remember, don't let white man lies control your mind. Right. All right, what's your nationality? I don't think we asked you. I'm black. All right, your father's uh, so-called, what, what nation he's from? What nation, what nation? I don't know, I don't deal with my father, brother. All right, do you believe that he's a so-called African-American or you think he's a, a, a Mexican? Which one are you? You understand what I'm saying? He pretty, pretty sure he's African-American, all right. So what tribe do you come from? What tribe do you come from? I don't know. You don't know. All right. So according to this sign, if your father's African-American, you come from what child? Give me Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. 
Here's what you got. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. Look. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Sprang where? Sprang out of Judah. Our Lord sprang out of Judah. You understand? So the same tribe that you come from, the same tribe that who comes from? The same tribe that who comes from? Read it again. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Who was our Lord? Who was our Lord? Who was our Lord? Jesus. Jesus the Christ, right? Yeah. Right. Who was our, not this one, right? Huh? No, not the Because Bible. the Bible says that Christ is what color? Bronze. Bra um, Brass, bronze, like bronze, 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 bronze right? Yeah. Right, so the Bible says that that bronze man sprang out of which tribe? The tribe of Judah, right? Read it again. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Now we've been taught that this is the white man's book. It's not the white man's book. We've been taught that the white man wrote this book. Right. The white man didn't write this book. You understand? He did not write this book. Because this is your history book. What other book can you go to to learn about your history? What book can you go to? Right? Which one can you go to to read about what your ancestors did and the culture that they had? You understand? Thousands of years ago. A hundred years, five hundred years ago. Which book can you go to to read about that? The Bible. You right. understand? This is this is our history book. These are our records. These have been written by our own people. Our own people wrote these things. Give me Job chapter 30, verse 30. I'm gonna show you something. Alright, because all the prophets you read about in the Bible were what color? They was black, right? We're gonna read it for you. Read what you got. Job chapter 30, verse 30. What? My skin is black upon me. What color is Job's skin? My skin is black upon me. Did you hear what Job said? He said that his skin was black upon him. Right? The church, the Christian pastors, they don't teach us these things. They avoid these scriptures in the church. Right? We Our, our, our grandmamas don't read these things to us. Because they're taught by the same Christian pastors that perpetuate the lies inside of the church but this is the truth that god says will set all of us free right come on and my bones are burned with heat our burn bones are what are burned with heat get jeremiah chapter 8 verse 21. all the prophets say the same thing whenever you read the bible they all say the same exact thing but the christian church right the tv ministry td jakes and all of that they're not teaching us this come on the book of Jeremiah, chapter 8, verse 21. Read. For the hurt of the daughter of my people mm -hmm. and my hurt, I am black. I am what? I am black. This is Jeremiah we're reading now. All the prophets say the same thing. How can this be the white man's book when the black man wrote it? Right. That's what we're reading records of what black men wrote. We have a collection of them today, and it's called the Bible. But like you A said, collection of writings. Like That's what said, it says. But like you said, though. These so-called pastors ain't teaching nobody that. Right, they're not. So, they're not teaching us this. Cause what he just, what he just came out of his mouth, well, I ain't never heard it in church. You never heard that I before. I never heard it. You, you heard what he said. He's <laughs> never heard this I, before. I, I, I ain't gonna say nothing like that. Right, but real, I never heard. It. Song of Psalm chapter one, <laughs> give verse five. I'm gonna show you more because the, the the leaders in our community don't teach these things. Right, if they taught these things, guess what? The murder would go down. Right. The crime in our communities would go down. Right. You understand? The abortions would go down. Right. Right? Read what you got. Come on. Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. Read. I am black. What did, so what did uh, uh, Solomon, the son of David, say? I am black. The king of Israel, what did he say? I am black. Come on. But comely. Comely means beautiful. He said I'm black and beautiful. These are things that are not taught to us. All right, these scriptures are not read in our communities. Right. They're not read in our homes. They're not taught to our children so they can grow up with good self-esteem about the way that they skin look, right. the texture of their hair. What was the texture of Bryce's hair? Everything. Wool. It was woolly. Who got woolly hair? Black. The same people that's writing this Bible that says their skin is black. Right. The Bible, the Bible is the black man's book. All right? The Bible is the black man's book. Nation is men leading by example.